beginning, you were circle shooting people, you know, from just artists to this. I'm going to tell you one lyric she said that I, that I heard, and I kept p pushing my YouTube back and said, I know she didn't just say that. <laughs> she said, uh -uh. It's, it, it's the difference as Lauren Hill, Lauren Hill taking hits of Farrakhan eating bacon bits. I said, man. <laughs> she said it. She yeah, yeah, said yeah. That. yeah I And said. I kept putting it back. I said, you was just. Not and you said you you know you said some people think you name dropping. You said I ain't name dropping, but I can't say what she said because I'm a preacher. Mm -hmm. But you said some stuff about they need to stop doing some stuff and blah blah blah. But it was mm -hmm. almost like you came in so bold mm -hmm. with your ability to tell the truth. But it was not. I saw beyond that and started saying she's not afraid to be by herself. What what gave Absolutely you that kind of that kind of gut? Um, because the way I grew up and I I was so used to hearing no. I was so used to um rejection so that rejection kind of created freedom when mm -hmm. it came to my music when it comes to my music like i'm i'm used to not having someone open the door for me you know what i'm saying so i can say what i want cuz i'm used to hearing no and i'm used to finding my way you know around certain things if i hear no a no is not a no to me it's like okay i'm not doing this with you so with that type of freedom then i'm able to say what i want you know what I mean? I get it. I'm get able it. to speak my truth. I speak how I feel. Yeah, mm -hmm. I get it. And I like that. A no, is a, a no doesn't mean no. It just means I'm not going to do it with you. Yeah, I'm not going to do it with you. Right. I feel like at least not even right now, because yeah. at some point you might circle back. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. Sure. And I think you know that to me resonates so much because as an entrepreneur, as a fellow entrepreneur, uh, it is what so many entrepreneurs have to remember: uh, this ability to not take a no for a no. And oftentimes it's, it should be fine for you to say, it's okay, maybe it was just not meant to be with you, mm -hmm. but it doesn't mean it's not meant to be. And mm -hmm. I'm going to go look for that person for, for whom it's meant to be with at this time. Yeah. So that's very, very right. I think that probably has a lot to do with ego, though. You know, when you have, a, when you have an ego, mm -hmm. then you hear no, mm -hmm. and then you get so caught up with mm -hmm. your emotions, mm -hmm. you get so angry, mm -hmm. you get focused on, and that's what that rage you're talking about, you get so focused mm -hmm. and fixated on that no that you can't even hustle and find another way out. You know Good what I'm point. saying? Good yeah, point. So. Good point. You're going to have to remind everybody, Nati, of a video that really moved me so much. Oh, we were talking about it off yes. camera. Uptown Butterfly, that's a... a documentary yes. that, that I shot, um, talking about my life, the way yes. I grew up, and yes. you know, just, just my plight as an independent artist. Yes. Yeah. Everyone has to try and see, watch that video, I'm sure. Bishop, I know you saw it. I did. But, you know, when I was watching that video, one of the first questions that, you know, came up for me came, it's just like, it's about New Orleans. And when I hear about all the things that the town, that town put you through, mm -hmm. And the fact that you say that, um, you know, if you become successful, you get killed or you have to leave or whatever. So when you think about all of that, why, why, why do you want to stay there despite, despite, it, despite everything it's put you through? That, this is a question I have because yeah. it just seems like, it seems like, you know what I mean? It's, um, a bit of it may be that I, I'm naive. You know, I don't know. I I don't because, I don't I cannot believe. Yeah, I don't, don't put that, that word next to it. It's don't an oxymoron. That. Don't believe that. But yeah, I'm not. but there's but there's part of me that that um because I know this and I acknowledge it. I acknowledge it often. Um but I do think first of all I say this. When you are living a certain lifestyle, when you live in a certain way, you introduce things, you introduce that type of energy. So there are people who went to jail, artists, stuff like that who Belong in jail. There are people who were murdered. There was rappers, and they was in the streets. So I do understand that. But there's also people who they're trying to make it. They're trying to move, and the city doesn't support them until they actually relocate and go to another place. Mm. I've seen it happen with several artists. Um, August Salcina, him and I were cool. We did records together and stuff like that. But until he moved out of the city, that's when he became the August Salcina, or. Um, Frank Ocean or, you know, artists like that, the city doesn't really support them until they want to reclaim them. Mm. So I see that. But a bit of me just a bit of me just feels like that's why I named that documentary Uptown Butterfly. Mm. Like I don't want to using that analogy. 
I don't want the beauty of my wings to be so far away that the other caterpillars would never even think that they can become a butterfly. Mm. Mm. So I want to be close enough that they can be inspired, mm. you know, because when these artists do move, mm -hmm. when they do relocate, the the kids, they look at them like, oh, well, they did, they did something different. They did something different. Like, they're not from here. They don't, I, I'm, I'm not going to be, they phony, they fake, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I, I got to be up close. I want to be up close so they can see, no, I came up just like you. I go to the same stores. I, I went to the same schools in this area. And I'm here. And you can be just like this. So. Wow, well, you know, but, but let, me, let me ask you something. Is part of growth being willing to leave certain things as foundation so you can get because 3d you 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 one of the best to do it Thank period you. i Thank mean you. that's that is absolutely the truth mm -hmm. i was looking at sway and one of the things he said hey man understand when you're in the presence of greatness that's real mm -hmm. and i'm afraid i'm afraid and i love new orleans I mean, I guess, I don't know. I mean, I've been there a couple times. <laughs> but I love New Orleans. He, love, he, he likes bourbon spirits. <laughs> yeah, hey, I'm a preacher, don't forget. <laughs> so all my people don't believe that. But but can can they can the can you shine where there is this crab in the bucket mentality where people are trying to hold you back or folks know too much of your history to, mm -hmm. to really believe in your future? Can can you do that? Or are you do you are you tied down or are you saying I'm just tied up? And which which one? Nah, I really have faith that I can. I really have faith that I can. And I'll say this. Um the New Orleans the New Orleans that you're speaking of, I've already moved away from that mentally. Mm. Really? I love yeah. That. That's good. I moved away from that mentally. So, um, like the things that I used to do, I used to be in the streets, I used to sell drugs, I'm a felon, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm I don't do any of those things anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't sit on a porch, my you know, I change my surrounding, I change my thoughts first. You know what I'm saying? So this is the this is the same New Orleans that um Harry Connick Jr. You know, yeah. lives in. Yeah. This is the same New Orleans that Beyonce has a house in. Mm -hmm. So nobody is gonna sit there and ask Beyonce, "Why do you stay in New Orleans?" Because she doesn't. That mentality, you know, that mentality, they're not there. So I changed my mentality. So I don't live in that New Orleans that you're speaking about. Yeah, that is That's interesting. Good, that is interesting because one of the questions also was going to be about, you know, when you were talking about artists living, uh, leaving once they've made it. Mm -hmm. And I guess one of the questions I was going to have for you was, but oftentimes it requires leaving in order, you know, to, it, it's part of a journey. Mm -hmm. So the, it, it is funny because it was going to be a question, but you answered it right there because it seems like you still went through the process and it, mm -hmm. but it happened up here. Yeah, right. it happened mentally. And that is so important because you see, as I was watching some of the things you were saying, you were saying, you know, when I'm at my grandma's house, I'm safe. Mm -hmm. When I'm at my aunt's, with my aunt's, you know, I'm safe. Mm -hmm. But it's once I get out of these walls and yeah. I'm back on, and when I have to go even from point A to point B on the street, all bets are off. Yeah. And I sit there And as somebody who, you know, comes from Africa, oftentimes, you know, Bishop, we're just like, in, in my, where I come from, if uh, you happen to be living in not such an okay neighborhood or mm. maybe uh, even, let's say, the culture of a family is kind of problematic because maybe there's too much chaos or whatever, it is perfectly acceptable that, for example, your mom would say, you know what, the environment I have, this, the, this, the direct environment that I have for her or him is not right. right. And I, there's not much I can do about it right now. So I'm just going to send her to my sister or mm -hmm. to my uncle or to uh, my best friend who lives like a hundred miles away, mm -hmm. but they have a better environment for her. Mm -hmm. So one of the questions for me was going to be like, why don't we, w what prevents that from happening? Like, you know, you were safe. I understand you're safe with your grandma, mm -hmm. but there is also what's outside of that house. Yeah. So A, why don't people just try to maybe send their children maybe to another place or you even but I understand I understand how naive now this question can sound mm -hmm. but then I think you're going much further in saying up here yeah you gotta it's look I'm not sitting up here saying I'm some superhero no no I can, no no I mean because I can I can go to New Orleans and something happened to me you know what I'm saying so I'm not sitting here saying that 
I'm safe and whatever. But what I can say is my mentality changed. And because my mentality changed, I don't do some of the things that I used to do, which can put me in certain circles and, and have certain circumstances. It happens to me. You yeah, know what I, mean? I do. You know, 